What's going on guys? So Dynamorphia is quickly becoming one of my favorite decks. I'm actually considering taking this deck to Nats because of how well I've done with it the last couple days at sneak peeks and such. Um, but let's get right into the main deck. Um, look, this deck, I'm telling you, it, it's crazy. It, and it's a trap deck, so you, you can play wherever you want. So we're going to start off with three Frenzy, best card of the deck. Three Domain, uh, second best card of the deck. Uh, three Intact. Um, I'm, I know I'm getting redundant here. Uh, third best card in the deck. Um, it's a Monster and Gate Counter Trap. And then for our one of Dynamorphia spells, I mean traps, um, Sonic, which is a spell and trap negate. A lot of people aren't playing this one, but it's so good because um, this can pr protect you against like evenly and stuff. Uh, Dynamorphia Brute, Dynamorphia Alert. The only issue with this one is you lose a body. Um, intact, you don't lose a body. And you can also chain it even if you don't have a monster on board and you just are chaining. Like if they go Ash Blossom to this and you have this set, you can activate it and negate their Ash Blossom. Yeah, it's broken. Um, three, Theresia. Makes sense. Theresia. Um, uh, I somehow managed to play the deck halfway without, with just two and then just one of these. I don't know how. I swear I do not know how. Does not make sense. And then two Diplos. So your overall engine is only 5, 6, 7, 8, um, 11, 14, 8, uh, 17. So like 17 cards for your Dynamorphia engine. And it, it's so strong. I mean, it is so strong. But we're playing so many ways to get into this engine that you'll see. You definitely don't want to miss the last card. It it literally, it, the last card in the deck, I'll never play this deck without it again. Okay, so for our, I guess you could say our sub engine, the Supreme King engine, it's great because you can get out your Z arc and then if they activate a spell, you can get your spell and trap negate on the board uh, and clear wing synchro dragon. It, it's just really good. Um, counter traps. We're going to be playing Iron Thunder and Solemn Judgment. Uh, mainly because they pay half, not necessarily because they're counter traps. Like, I think there's better traps out there that you could play if this deck didn't rely on cutting in half. But this card, oh my gosh, this card is freaking crazy. There's so many cool plays you can do because it destroys the whole column. Um, you can make it trigger, if they got like some weird floodgate, you can uh, wait till they activate something. Or you can make something activate in that column, negate your own stuff. Destroy the whole column. It's insane. Um, our trap tricks. Just two. Um, you don't want to see three of these. This card itself kind of sucks. But it's very it's critical to the deck. And then ferret flames. So basically we're playing four copies of any normal trap in our deck. or at, at, Some of them we're playing basically five copies. Ferret pl flames we're basically pay, uh, playing four. <coughs> But yeah, uh, Ferret Flames, it could be at three. I just, I don't know. There's times where you can't use it. Um, so you got Anti-Spell Fragrance, Rivalry, and then one Solemn Strike. So just to make it the 40th card, and I do side one other one, um, this card is really good. It's better than Judgment in a lot of situations. And... It pays fifteen hundred. That's the only issue with it. If it paid half, it would be at three, but it doesn't. So, a lot of times I'll just like side out one of the intacts, um, and just have this in there. Um, and then of course anti spell fragrance. We're playing. We're playing a trap deck. We we don't care about spells. Um, I mean we do play some spells, but we don't care about it. You know, going second that much. And then rivalry because. There's there's certain decks where rivalry just like makes it to where they can't play, so yeah. Uh, sorry about that. Knock that out. All right, now let's get into the five spells that we play, and then I'll show you the last the last three cards that I would. Uh, they're insane. So three duality because we rarely special summon on our turn, um, and then two pot of prosperities. So there's just times where these don't conflict. You can use both of them. Um, you get two. Tri like you're gonna see something. I mean, I don't think I've ever potted and not seen something that gets me out of a sticky situation. But there's like so many cards in here. Like you don't. How do you get in a sticky situation? I mean, it can happen. You can brick in this deck. It's just so unlikely. Um, and then for our last card, I'll keep the suspense. Uh, 
I'll, I'll get rid of the suspense. Three wannabe. Holy crap. So, for some reason, I just realized, like, after the events, that you can use this on your opponent's in phase too. I don't know why I only thought it was during your in phase. I don't read cards. You know, typical Yu Gi Oh player. We don't read cards. Um, yeah. So, it lets you excavate an amount up to uh, how many empty back. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, your opponent's unused spell traps, spell and trap zone, so five. So typically you're going to be able to excavate at least five, uh, three, four, five, and then uh, set one of those traps. It just has to be activated the next turn um, or it just goes away. So if you set like a floodgate off of it, it may not be that great, um, but it still might be the right move. It just depends what's in your hand. But that is it for the main deck. Let's go into the extra deck, and this is where, where it's getting, you know, it's just awesome. Three Rekstrom. So if you don't know about this deck, keep in mind this is a very, very budget deck. Um, the whole deck's like 80 bucks. Um, and that's if you like max it out. Um, my build's a little bit more. Um, just because I do want it to be as competitive as possible. Three Rekstrom. This is basically a skill drain. But not only is it a skill drain, they can't activate their effects. Um, also, he has the effect to cut your life in half and make their life... Their attack equal to your life. So, like, if they pop out a monster that has zero attack or something, they're like, oh, I'm going to activate. As soon as they summon it, you can just make it uh, to where they can't activate their uh, effects. Um, you have to be careful with that, just in case if it's a quick effect. Um, yeah. And uh, Dynamorphia Ketragina, this is your fusion copier. When she copies a fusion spell, they cannot Ash Blossom that. Don't let people cheat you, uh, because this copies effects. Not it, it has. N there's nothing on this card that can be Ash Blossom. Um, it can't even be Ghost Spelled because it banishes for cost. So don't be cheated. Three Stealth Berg. Yeah, this could be two if I found another card I'm looking for, but I couldn't find it. So three Kinchigina. This does come up. It does burn damage. Um, most of the time, you just use it for fusion fodder. To be honest with you, though. Um, and then for our Supreme King package, the two Z-Arcs. This one's treated as Z-Arc on the field, and this one is Z-Arc. So if you draw two of them, you can get two 4,000 bodies on the field. Um, don't forget that. That's another thing that I, I didn't realize until later, because I do not read cards, okay? I don't read I'm sorry, I don't read them. But, yeah, this one's treated as Z-Arc on the field. The issue with this one, this is a Talents Magnet and a Thrust Magnet. So, magnet. so t typically... You're going to want to do this in the draw phase to at least play around talents because talents can can mess us up. And then we're going to play this guy. Typically, the Supreme King, uh, you can tribute him when they activate a spell using the trap. Bring this guy out. He gets huge and he gets uh, uh, he's a spell and trap negate. So he's really good. And then to round it all off, Lagia, like in the grind games, Lagia and Dolka. There are times where you'll get four, two bodies on field, level fours. And this is just basically another Solemn. And this is just a monster negate. So, and they're, they're pretty big bodies too. So they help you OTK. And then to round it off, a Typhon. Um, this is just what I, the best thing I could find. I'm missing the Odd Eye, the Brave Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Um, and if I cut one of these, I could put in like a Starving Venom Dragon or some kind of dark dragon to summon off of this. Um, yeah, so basically when when the Supreme King leaves, you can summon one or up to four, you know, it's whatever, like four dragons. Um, I'll tell you exactly what it says. Okay. Banish this card and one Supreme King Z-Arc from your face-up monster zone. So summon up to one each Pendulum Dragon, Aziz Dragon, Sneaker Dragon, and Fusion Dragon monster from your hand, deck, extra deck, and or graveyard. So, yeah. Uh, up to one each. Um, yeah. It's, uh, it's a pretty broken, pretty broken card, actually. Um, I haven't looked at all the options out there. Uh, but Crystal Wing is one of the best ones because it doesn't require... A lot of the good ones require it to be, like, Synchro Summon or require it to be Fusion Summon. Uh, but this one does not require a summoning condition. So, 
So yeah, you can't put in things like um, calamity or you know what I'm saying. Like you can't do stuff like that. Um, it'd be it'd be really broken if you could though. Um, for the side deck, I do want to show y'all this because it is important, very important of this deck. So three dark bribe. Uh, you don't want to lose it evenly or solemn judgment or something stupid. So we play dark bribe. Three cosmic. We don't want to get flooded ourselves. Like puppet lock does nothing to us. I got puppet lock last night. It does nothing. Uh, three evenly matched. Three shifter. I mean, this card is you know this shifter. I never see it hardly when I side it, but and if I do see it, it doesn't do anything. Um, but yeah, it's good when it's good. Two D barrier because we don't have to play three because of trap trick, and then one more solemn strike. Like so, this is like if I'm playing tempi. Typically, this is going to go in, and then I'll find a way to probably put this. Um, we already have, two, uh, in our deck, we already have seven Spell and Trap Negates for uh, evenly matched. So, we're not, like, overly concerned with it, but you do probably want to side in, like, these over something else. Um, if you're going first, because I've noticed a lot of people will make me go first for some reason. I don't know why. I, I just can't figure it out because um, it's a trap deck. Um, and then going second, of course, we would put shifter and evenly. And usually that's going to deal with it. Um, I don't think I've ever sided in cosmics. I just I don't like playing any spells in a trap deck. Um, but there are certain decks that have better matches matchups against this deck. Um, like Runic has a better matchup against it because they have um, ways to destroy our back row. Um, with uh, they can just keep kind of knocking us down. And then Branded has a pretty good matchup. Uh, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and definitely try this deck out if you haven't. I mean, it is super fun. Like the deck itself, like the core is like thirty bucks, so you can just play around with that. And I mean, it, it's it's very powerful, very fun. Anyways, guys, be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.